Welcome back to Street Science. Could we be headed for a trade war with Canada? Don't take this lightly. Canada is about more than beer and ice hockey. It is our largest trading partner, autos and oil and lumber and all kinds of stuff. But our neighbors to the north, not happy about a provision in the stimulus plan that says local and state governments must buy American. Some Canadian cities are banding together to stop giving contracts to American companies. So is this the first shot in a possible trade war? With us are Jim Backus, former congressman and now chairman of the Global Trade Practice Group, and Lloyd Wood of the American Manufacturing Trade Action Coalition. Lloyd, we hear stories of pipes being ripped out of the ground at a naval base in California after it was discovered they were made in Canada. Now, a number of Canadian towns with about 500,000 people in them, they band together, effectively ban U.S. goods in their municipal contracts. This can't be good, Lloyd, for the economy in either country. Well, Canada already has the right under the North American Free Trade uh, Agreement to exclude all Department of Transportation facilities from receiving U.S. contracts. So, yeah, but Lloyd, having the right and exercising hey, that right are two different things, and hey, now they're you know exercising if, it. If the U.S. government is going to spend billions of dollars on a stimulus package, if you want to stimulate the U.S. economy, guess what? You need to buy American products so you actually create jobs in America. If you told the politicians in Ottawa, say, hey, you've got to buy American-made goods to stimulate the Canadian economy, they'd laugh you right out of Parliament. Well, go ahead. Yeah, here's the problem, though. I mean, it's been all tat on the United States. The United States, over the last eight years, has run current account deficits of almost $5 trillion. We've run almost three point, six, over $3.6 trillion in trade deficits in manufactured goods. We've run a current account deficit with Canada in every year since the Canadian free trade agreement, not only NAFTA. So it's, it's, and the problem here is we've had way too much one-way trade, not enough two-way trade. We've lost over 5 million manufacturing jobs. We've actually had now the first 10-year decline in industrial output since 1939. Lloyd, let, so, let me you know, the problem here is we're not producing enough. And if everybody else wants to be able to, to sell us more, which we want to buy more, then we have to start creating more wealth but here. But you, you think erecting more. trade barriers is the way to increase American manufacturing? Hey, everybody else already has trade barriers out there. We have unilaterally disarmed. But yet everybody else out there, through whether it be through illegal barriers or, for instance, a legal barrier, such as a value-added tax. Canada has a general services tax of what I think they lowered it to 5 percent. But anything that goes across the border, we get hit with a 5 percent tax. And, of course, when the Canadians ship here, they rebate the GST. Con with Congressman Europe, Backus, it goes close to 20. Thank you very much, Jim Backus. This is an issue we're going to talk about for a long time. I think Tim Geithner ought to be talking about this with G20 and G7. Just because you're following the WTO doesn't mean there aren't incipient ways to have a trade war.